Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. First of all, a big thanks to all of you for the comments and the likes guys. That's really appreciated. Uh, starting with the Euro USD, we are looking at the monthly time frame this time just to show you where we are at guys. So the Euro dip dip deep this time. So we are below all these levels now as you see. So this whole area here that been expected to be some kind of support and resistance uh, resistance is not anymore. Now there is um, 10 days left for this month to end so uh, this might change but at the moment it is not looking good for the euro still uh, weekly time frame did dip inside deep here so uh, i think the next target gonna be this area down here so curiosity is still sell rallies the big question is are we gonna get some kind of a correction uh, as i mentioned last week i was expecting some kind of a correction um, maybe toward this area we didn't get that all we've got was this correction and the market uh, did um, continue to the downside so uh, for next week and since the daily time frame is still uh, looking bearish after this uh, lower high we've got here uh, i think uh, the bears will keep pushing toward these areas before any bounce to the upside so we are um, still in a uh, bearish market and uh, what i will be doing is uh, just keep selling rallies here especially if they fail to break above this previous high so now this is the key area here any failure to break above it is a sell in my opinion so keep an eye on that sterling not much uh, changed here so we've got yet another lower high so you see this sequence of lower highs and lower lows on the sterling and the last move to the downside was this break lower so this is still considered a bearish structure we've got a nice retest to this key area up here as you see if you look left and then on friday there was uh, this rejection to the downside so all in all what happened was here that this uh, correction is now over after this uh, um, uh, strong uh, impulse to the downside they did find some support back here once again so for next week any break below this will signal the continuation toward this area or maybe even more downside so if they keep failing to break above this area let's change this level to a little bit higher if they keep uh, failing to tra uh, to trade above this level here the uh, direction will still be bearish any failure to break here is a signal for more downside and if they break lower that would mean retest and continuation on sterling as well USD Jappy um, did found um, uh, trouble and uh, rejection once again at this level. So uh, after this uh, fake out, the market went back all the way down and uh, it kept holding below this key level. If we look left here, this is a multi-year level, guys, as you might remember from my yearly overview. Uh, we are looking at the weekly time frame and uh, as you see here since 2017 the market was never able to break above this level and that still uh, is the case so we got this attempt to break higher last week and then the market did uh, reject that uh, attempt uh, totally so fake out and back down so the big question is are we going further down or not it is sitting at support here right now any break below that will signal the further downside on this market first target gonna be here second target here and uh, down below if that continues so for next week keep an eye close eye here on this level any break below this will signal continuation the bears are in control you see how strong of impulses we've getting here so the bears are still in control correction and maybe a break to the downside next week keep an eye on this potential bearish flag if they start establishing it Aussie USD checking the daily time frame not looking good uh, for the bulls they did break below the neckline now there is no reason for them to stop anymore 
I don't see it why they will stop before reaching these levels down here anymore. So uh, it is still bearish, especially that they did break below this area here. There is no reason to stop now. And uh, the main idea will keep being that we try to sell rallies. Now, where the price is testing at the moment, as you see, is a potential support area looking left it is not a bad level at all so um, we want to see a break below this for then look for continuation if they manage to hold and they might hold this level as a potential um, bounce for a, a correction from here so uh, next week you might see something like this but if they fail to break above this previous high i'm looking for more downside uh, on aussie usd USD CAD still bullish as well. Um, the daily time frame looking good with higher highs and higher lows. They did uh, go inside this level now without a trouble uh, at all. Uh, and uh, if we check the four hour time frame, you see it clearly here how this market is trending nicely to the upside. Broke higher, did a retest, and then another bounce to the upside. So next week, the first level we should be watching is down here. As far as this level is holding, I'm looking for a bounce to the upside from this area. Now, if they manage to break below it, the first target gonna be here, the second target gonna be here, and it might still continue up anyway. So first level, keep an eye on this for next week. And USD Chief also still considered to be bullish. Uh, we did not get uh, much of a correction. Couple of days and then Friday, one push back to the upside. Checking the weekly time frame, it looks like this, this leg just started. Two weeks to the upside, we've got higher highs, higher lows, another higher low, and now the continuation is on the way. Um, daily time frame we've got a nice higher low here the market went back above this interesting level looking left so we are trading above this area and they are pushing potentially to tag this stop uh, go down to the four hour time frame you see we had an impulse correction another impulse a little bit of a bigger correction and the most importantly that they managed to hold above this area so for next week as far as this swing is holding and uh, this area as far as this area is holding uh, the direction in my opinion is still to the upside on usd chief Gold weakness uh, at the end of the week, Thursday, Friday was bearish, broke the neckline. I don't uh, think uh, they will manage to stop um, before reaching some kind of uh, uh, trouble. First target gonna be down here, second target gonna be down here on gold, especially that we have a break on the daily here. And um, the weekly time frame looking good after the break, but it is uh, maybe time for a bit of a correction. So uh, look at this um, ugly inverted head and shoulder, two shoulders, one head, two shoulder, one head. Any case, call it whatever you want. The trend line is broken, and in my opinion, this might continue to the downside now. So, um, target one gonna be this low down here, and then we start looking at these levels looking left. Oil bearish and did uh, a strong move to the downside on Friday. This neckline is totally broken now. Uh, it did enter below this area of interest looking left. We need to go back toward these and these levels and we are trading below them now and there is not much of a structure honestly. The next uh, level of interest gonna be potentially this area here these levels could be uh, the levels of interest here and um, yeah next week if we keep seeing this momentum to the downside look for retest if they fail to break higher the direction gonna be to the downside on oil as well so uh, yeah that was it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye